In this video, we'll be analyzing how the IDF to 3D functionality in Eagle works. So here we have an example board. It's the Arduino Mega 2560. And if we want to generate an IDF or step model for it, we can click here on the IDF to 3D button. Clicking the button will bring up the interface for the Simplified Solutions IDF to 3D Converter. We'll have several options. We can save the IDF files locally to then import them in the mechanical CAD tool of choice for us. So if you're using something like SOLIDWORKS or ProE or whatever mechanical CAD software you're using and you don't want to go through the Simplified Solutions tool, you can still generate valid IDF files, bring them into your mechanical CAD tool, and then replace them with more accurate 3D step models. There's also going to be the options to purchase an IDF to 3D subscription, which is pretty self-explanatory. Soon, we'll have an interface to Fusion 360. Uh, it's currently not fully functional, but it is going to come soon, as you can see. But for now, we just want to use our subscription. So I'm going to click here on Export to Step, STL, or 3D PDF. Doing so, we'll see that there's a submit, uh, a request submitted. It'll be communicating with the IDF to 3D server it'll bring up the simplified solutions interface now one thing to keep in mind is under normal circumstances it's going to ask you for login information I didn't want to reveal mine so I logged in previously um, so here we can see the Arduino Omega it's been fully uploaded any parts that the service was able to match automatically it did so and that's what you're seeing in blue you're seeing the processor was able to be matched automatically um, several of the other components. Anything you see as just a, a rectangle, these are parts that were not matched. Now, for your purposes, maybe this is enough. Maybe this gives you enough information to be able to get the, the mechanical side of the design done. Maybe it's not. If you wanted to match the other parts, we can go here to 3D Component Mapping Tool. And we can actually see the components that were mapped. They're highlighted in green those that were not mapped are highlighted in red and we can use the expanse the the large library that comes with IDF to 3D and choose from components from its library to do the mapping or we can even upload our own parts so the tool allows you to bring in your own 3D step models that you generate locally in your own tool or that you download from somewhere else you're fully allowed to use those to in order to get the components mapped and you can rotate you can adjust all sorts of parameters so you can see here the rotations the locations of the parts but let's say for the moment that we're happy with this we click go down to I'm gonna go ahead and close this part we go to generate 3d view and what's gonna happen is it's initially gonna generate a 3d PDF and then it's gonna offer the opportunity to download the 3D step PCB and uh, the 3D printer prototype files. So we're going to give it a few moments. And there we have it. So now we have the 3D PDF, which we can download to for review. And we can download the 3D step file for use in our mechanical CAD tool or the 3D printer prototype. So this has been an overview of our Simplified Solutions 3D service. The interface with Eagle, as you can see, it's very straightforward. Everything can work seamlessly from Eagle to the online interface. Thank you very much, and have a great day.